So my name is Chelsea Corcoran Quad, last name is a mouthful, um, and I am a uh, fish and wildlife biologist with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. Um, who has a guess what the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service is? You guys take care of fish and like, wildlife? P perfect. U.S. Fish and Wildlife, right? We take care of fish and wildlife. And one of the most important things we do is we are the only agency whose job is to protect endangered species. Who can tell me what an endangered species is? Yes. An animal that's about to die out. What's another word for dying out? You, sir, get a prize. Pass that back. <laughs> Who else wants to talk? Yes. Decay. Decay. What, what is it when an animal is no more? <coughs> Who had their hand up? Yes. Extinction. Extinct, right? They go completely extinct. And we have managed land throughout the entire country set aside land just for wildlife. If you were to take all the National Wildlife Refuge land just in Alaska, that would take up the entire state of Texas. And I want you to go ahead and open that map. And you saw, do you guys see a piece of string that's on your table as well? Someone grab the string and someone open the map for everyone to see. Find a National Wildlife Refuge called Lake Umbegog National Wildlife Refuge. And I'll give you a hint. It is on the border between Maine and New Hampshire. Lake and Bay got found it. Found it. Yep. Does anyone know why we have strategically placed National Wildlife Refuges along the Pacific, the Central, and the Atlantic? Because people have to kind of run these things, right? We all have to work. What do you think? I already told you what I did, so you should know one job that a National Wildlife Refuge needs. But when what's that job? What did I say I was? A biologist. So that's one job, right? Mm -hmm. Park rangers. Yes, absolutely. So we have, there's two types of park rangers. We have the educators, geographers, absolutely. Vets. We call them budget officers, firefighters. So you guys are starting to get an idea that we have everything. In fact, if you guys can think of a job we don't have, I'll give you a prize. What? We don't have basketball. You got me on that. This is called a mist net. And they call it a mist net because it's so see-through, you can't even see it in the mist. So immediately, you want to take them out of the net. They're scared. And we put them in this bag. That enclosed area kind of makes them feel a little more safe and not as scared if they can't see. What is this called? A scale. So you're going to open it up. So you're going to put it in the bag, and you're going to go ahead and weigh it. But is this going to give me the weight of the bird? No. no. What's it going to give me? The weight of the bird in the bag. So what are you going to have to do after you take the bird out? Weigh the, weigh, the weigh, the weigh, the weigh the bag and subtract the difference, right? You guys are good. You guys are so good. What's next? Bandit, right? Now up here, I have these bands. And they're tiny. So you're going to take one of these bands off, and you're going to have to put it on the, on the bird's leg. And you'll have to identify what color the band is and what leg you've chosen to put it on. And each of these bands have a very special number that no other number is given to any bird in the entire world. So only that bird has that special code. So when people track them or find them, we can know exactly where they came from, how much they weighed, what their tail length was, all that stuff. Here you go. See how it's clamped shut there? Hold on, you're gonna hold it yeah. just like that. So you're gonna take it. See this prong here? You're gonna insert it just like that. Pull it open. C R. Okay. Here. How do you? How do you open it off? Like, it was hard. That's how to do it. You can do it. All set? Yep. What do you guys have? Um, that. All that information. Right at the tip and measure out to the very last feather. Really, really quickly, I want to go around the room and I want you to say one thing you learned today. Even if it was a career that you didn't know existed. So who are we? Awesome people. 
Thank you, thank you. U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, perfect. What's one thing you learned? How to tag a bird. How to tag a bird, beautiful. How many National Wildlife Refuges are there? Very good, 552. And they're constantly growing. I always have to look it up right before I come because there's always, seems one more that I missed. To test your knowledge because you are now so smart. There is this place called Fairview Outdoor School. Has anyone heard of it? It's just outside Maryland. So they came across this endangered river dog. It's a, it's a fake animal, we're just making it up. And they found that it is the only one in the entire world, and they have found it. Well, we can pretend it's at your school. So this school, it's the only one they've ever seen, the only one they will ever find in the entire world. So we have come in and we have decided that we have to protect this land, right? Because if it's the only one in the world, we have to save it. So we're gonna turn this area into a National Wildlife Refuge. The first thing we have to do is identify the endangered species and survey its habitat. Who would do that? What do you have? A wildlife biologist. A wildlife biologist might, more specifically. What? Endangered species biologist. Come on up and put it on the board. Good. Do you want to read the next one while you're up here? Job two, map the species habitat and create the proposed refuge boundaries. So who would map the habitat? Geographic information. Geographic information specialists. We call them GIS biologists. So they're going to map it. They're going to use computers. So that's another job we didn't talk about that maps the whole property. Who's going to buy the land? What other jobs do we have? Right. Who has realtor? There you go. Put it on up. We have realtors, too, that go and buy the land. So you guys feel like you have a good idea of who the Fish and Wildlife Service is and the kinds of things that we do? Good. How many of you guys are ready to work for the Fish and Wildlife Service? Awesome. So even though we did something related to wildlife biology, you don't have to like the outdoors. I know you guys are science clubs, so you probably do, but there's a lot of folks that don't necessarily like to be outside, and that's okay too, because if you believe in protecting endangered species and all sorts of wildlife, Whatever it is you want to be when you grow up, as long as it's not a basketball player or an astronaut. We also had Barber. We don't have anyone that cuts people's hairs yet either. So as long as you don't want to do those things, whatever your passion is, you can do it for wildlife and you can do it for the Fish and Wildlife Service.